Hello guys and welcome back to Imperium Tutorials. My name is Rakuna and I'm Bart. How you doing Bart? Uh, uh do, doing quite well. Thank you for asking. And how are you Rakuna? Uh, I'm doing good. So today I'm going to be showing how to make use of these to actually have them trigger as such. See? Lights on, lights off, doors open, doors closed. Yeah. How the hell did you do that? I tried doing that for the longest time and it never worked. Well, that's what I'm going to show you. So first of all, you're going to have to go in this location. It's usually in our program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Imperial Galactic Survival content configuration. And you're going to be looking for blocks config.ecf. Now, before doing any manipulation, you'll want to make yourself a backup folder and keep a backup of the original file. You can open this file by using Notepad++. There may be other programs that could do the same thing, but you know, that's what I'm using right now. So over here, you'll have all of the items with the block IDs. Now, what you'll want to do to get the block ID in your Empyrean, you can open the console and write DI for debug information. When you're actually looking at something, as you can see in the top right, at the bottom left of that dark box, you'll have the item number for the item that you'll want to edit. So as you can see, this console device is 344. Now you could do this for other type of console devices, but be cautious because I know that some of the quests make use of these consoles and I hope that it doesn't mess up. That's why we're keeping a backup. So we're going to be looking for 344. By doing control F, you can open up a search. So here I am on my block ID 344, which is written actually what it is here, in case you're unsure of getting the right one. Now what you want to do here in class, instead of writing NPC dialogue, you'll want to change this to switch. And under that, you can write is activatable, colon, true. And that's all it takes. Now save the file, and after that, you can go back in your game. If you go to the control panel by pressing P, you'll see that you now have a TX signal in which you can write your signal. I don't recommend putting anything here because if the device is turned off, you can't press it with uh, F anymore. You'd have to reactivate it in the device here. So right now I've set this to light sensor and I've put the light here to light sensor and you just for the hell of it, I put the door right here as well to open to light sensor. That's a weird place for a door, Rakuna. I know, I know, it's just for testing purposes. And then, as you can see, you have the prompt that appears to press F on a small console. And there you go. You can actually do this with other type of deco blocks. If I look at the top right, this console's number is 635. We'll do the changes on that one as well. So I've added the class. Since it didn't have a class, I had to add one, and I put it in the switch category, which that makes it put the TX signal availability and is activatable true. So we're going to do a quick save of that little puppy. And as you can see here, you can't prompt it yet. Make it work. You just need to exit the game and load back in. As you can see now, I can actually prompt this little sucker. Now again, you can go to the signal logic. Now this has appeared and you can also lock the device and turn it on and off. But again, it's ill advised to actually put a signal to this as you cannot prompt it afterwards. Oh, Rakuna, that is some deep shit there. Yeah, I know. Uh, again, it, still be very careful when editing those files and always keep a backup. Very, very, very important. So guys, I hope this helps. Thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Empyrean Tutorials. And I'll see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.